Okay, Mac. It's Big Mac. Oh, God. How much is the car worth? You can't talk about that car in terms of money. That car is a classic. Respect to most drives, one of them. Well, I've got to do something. Oh, God. God, she's talking to you. Oh, God. Well, I think you got that bit. How bad is it? About four grand. Oh, God. It's just a temporary cash flow problem, that's all. Nothing to worry about. Oh, no. That's why you're chewing your nails down to the elbows, eh? I owe Sam the carpenter 500 quid. He can't afford that. Yeah, I know, I know, nor can I. Be all right if this bugger Singleton had paid up. Singleton? <laughs> Mr Smoothie of City Hall, he owes me as well. Where is he? Hold on. There, look, look. One clown for Kitty's birthday party. 50 quid. Yeah. Yeah, well, at least I'll knock down the cars for four grand. I'll get mine off him. Yeah, well, I'm going to get mine off him today. How are you going to do that? Astute knowledge of human behaviour. Uh -huh. I mean, you're going to kick him to death. Oh, <laughs> very funny. Listen, I'll get my money and I'll do it using legitimate business methods. I won't be shoving a shiv up his nostril. Shoving a shiv? You know something? I never liked you. I object violently to cycle paths. In fact, I'm sick to bloody death of cyclists. They don't pay any road tax, and now the buggers want us to paint a load of useless white lines all over the borough. They come sneaking up between the cars. Like as not, they scratch the paintwork, and they're never insured. Thank you, Councillor Taylor, member for Genghis Khan. Your points have been noted. Are there any further matters? Aye. I've got another point, Councillor Singleton. Next Monday, the opening of the construction tenders for the new sports centre. Yes? Your firm miraculously going to come up with the lowest bid again, like you did for the waterfront development? I'm not tendering, Ralph. It may not have registered on your old frontal law, but I am now chairman of the planning committee. It wouldn't be ethical, would it? Ethical? Oh, I like that. Ethical. If I were you, Councillor Taylor, I would drink just a tad less Chateau de Chasselet's and button my stupid lip before it got me into a lot of trouble. I've got my eye on you. Just you remember that. Any more business? Hello? Mrs. Hardcastle, Sally. How nice to see you. What can I do for you? You owe me for two boats. The last bank holiday, those friends of yours, I have billed your company three times. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, mere culpa. I've got this new girl, she can hardly talk, let alone read. Leave it with me, first thing, OK? Well, uh, you could write me a cheque now, if you like. A chequebook? In this suit? I tell you, it would kill me. Better idea, I've got this deputation of town planners coming from Bavaria in a couple of weeks. Why don't I book all of your boats for the whole weekend? Yeah, but wouldn't that be council business? Never mind, never mind. Bulk build me for the whole lot, I'll put skates underneath it, then you'll be ahead, OK? Yeah, fine, but... I'm... Fine, that'll do. No buts. Life's too short. I must dash. I've got lunch with our boy in Westminster. Can I give you a lift? No. All right. Next time. Keep the faith. Thanks, Jim. Ciao, Sally. Just give it five more minutes, all right? There he is, right. Now smile. Think sound of music. Mr. Singleton. Hello, man. What's that? No, 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 no. I'm Thomas Jin. I provided the clown for your kid's birthday party. I've come for me cash. I'm just about to have lunch with our member of parliament. Oh, well, you want to be quick then, won't you? <laughs> Thomas, your so-called clown was a half-cut Irish bomb. Mr. Lively was not drunk, and the kiddies loved him. 
Yeah, well, send me a bill, I'll think about it. No, no, Mr. Singleton, listen, um... See that nun over there? Well, she ain't really a nun. <laughs> that is Lola Montezuma, stripping star of stage screen and stagnator. So? So, if I don't get my money right now, young Lola will jump up on your luncheon table and do the sort of strip which will kill a cat at 300 yards. Now you are a funny man, Thomas. Ain't I just? Lola! That's outrageous! How could you? So you didn't get your money then, eh? I'm bulk billing for the future bookings. Yeah, but you didn't get your actual cash in hand today as promised, did you? Whereas I did. Oi! Don't do that. You'll frighten Big Bird. Big Bird is something large and yellow from Sesame Street, not something moth-eaten and smelly from Boogie Street. Oh, come on. Just because I got my money and you didn't, don't get crabby. I'm not getting crabby. Look, I'll sort it out for you, OK? <gasps> you sort it out for me? You couldn't even sort out which finger to pick your nose with. Oh, that's charming. That is very tasteful. I'm just trying to help. I don't want your help. I'll get my money without resorting to stripping none, so keep your nose out of it. gonna work. Big Bird's meant to be yellow. Just think yellow. Well, this looks like I'm full of foul pest. Should have suggested Kermit the frog. She's good on frogs. Well, shut up, you, and boil your head. So what are you gonna do about Flash, Nick? Oh, Sally keeps telling me to stay out of it, but, well, I know she's getting given the runaround. So you lay into the bastard. No, you don't. Don't get involved in women's troubles. Look at Antony and Cleopatra. If he hadn't fought her battles, he could still be alive today. You're a couple, Thomas. You're an item. If she's been threatened by this woman... Then bloke... let her sort us out. I had a tiff with a lady friend of mine one time, a foreign person. And do you know what she did? She came out on our balcony and dropped a pig on me. You. Hey? You. Me? Not you. Him. I don't believe this. Couldn't be. Big Mac, how are you? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Who's oh, your friends? Uh, the sick hooker man is Thomas. Thomas, Big Mac. Nice to meet you, Mac. Uh, it's Big Mac, OK? Anything you uh, say, pal, yeah. yeah and this yeah. is Pippa. <laughs> She's a chicken. <laughs> Hello, little Missy. I haven't seen him since we did national service together. Yeah. <laughs> you were never in the army. Well, for a week or so. Then they found they could scrape by without me. Where have you been? I stayed in. SAS, I've just retired. Hey, is there a booze around here? Yeah, it's just... Oh, let's right, get wrecked, then. A few pints of the old red barrel, eh? <laughs> oh, what lovely people. Red Barrel. Benny, listen. It's foolproof. It's even council proof. <laughs> yes, all the tenders are in. Closing date was yesterday. No, no. No, leave that to me. I'll be in touch with all the arrangements tomorrow. Yeah? No problem. Cheers, Ben. Bill, come in. Sit down. Try not to pick your teeth. Please. I have a delicate constitution. So what's up, then? We are not going to tender for the sports complex. No, oh, pity. But we are going to make sure it goes to our pals. It's OK, yeah. Well, who are they going to subcontract to? Oh, Singleton Construction. Uh, sharp as a tack. That's my bill. Now, there's work to be done. I want you to go out and get me a small iron. Iron.
brought you down for you. Now, Thomas, I've had a great idea, one of them blinding flashes of inspiration that lights up the night sky and sets virgins trembling in their beds. Oh, gold. Why not let Big Mac here do the gorilla gram? Seen the tip is too small, more of a man with set gram, eh? <laughs> well, yeah, it suits me, but it's money out of her purse, isn't it? Better check with her. Well, you can, here she comes now, look, here, go ask her. How'd it go, then? I resign. You can take your job, your costumes and your chicken head and ram it up the nearest bear's bum. Mm. Well, looks like I might have a vacancy. I know I owe you the money, Sam, but money is also owed to me. That's the way of the world. Well, stall them. Yeah, the way I'm stalling you. Bye-bye. Please do not listen to my business calls. Legit business methods not work, then, eh? Credit lines sometimes have to be extended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sam's missus can hang her washing on the extended credit line, can't she? Oh, do shut up. Sorry. And stop smirking. Hmm? Just keep out of it. I would not dream of interfering. <laughs> Perfect. Now, that wasn't too difficult, was it? What's it for, then? No, no, no. Don't tax your brain, Bill. You just listen very carefully. Benny Dixon of Showdown Developments is coming up at the weekend. So? So I want you to meet him. What for? What for? Because Councillor Taylor, Ralph Taylor, member for the tediously upright, has a thousand eyes, and I would hate for him to clock me and Benny together, especially if Benny ends up with the gig of the month tender in his pocket. Are you hearing me, number five? Oh, I get it. And lo, a light appeared in the east, so you meet him. When and where? I'll see you at three. I'll have copies of the tenders. I'll tell you where to meet him. Wear a suit. If you, uh possess such a thing. I know how to behave. Where? At my mother's grave. We'll see you there. What the bloody hell do you think you're playing at? Listen, you really must get into the habit of paying your debts, Nicky. You've had your nod, Sunshine. Yeah, but Sally Hardcastle hasn't. Oh. So she sent you to lean on me? Yeah, in a way, yeah. yeah. Right. As an upright citizen, I think I'll have a word with our wonderful boys in blue. Yeah, you do that. And I'll have a word with my pal, the councillor. What was his name? Taylor, was it? I see. Cockney Sparrow smells worm. What do you want? What Sally's owed. Pay her and I disappear. I'll get my humble accountants onto it. Tomorrow? Today, even. But a word in your shell like. Come across you again. Deep excrement. OK, Tommy? OK, Nicky. And not a word to Mrs. Arcastle. Oh, as if I would. Well, it's been fun, hasn't it? Must do lunch sometime. Bogger off, lad. What a loser. <laughs> You don't know where he's been? Look, I'm not eating him for me dinner. He's just stopping for a few days, that's all. Oh! Until he gets set up. I don't trust him. Have a bit of Christian charity, will you?
Do you winkle Sally Silver or the Singleton fella? Yeah, she should be paid by now. Whenever anybody owes me money, first I discuss it from a moral, religious and ethical point of view, and if that doesn't work, I drop a tractor on them. <laughs> hey, how do I look? Yeah, terrific. Now, do you know the song? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to yeah, you. All right, all right, all right. Now, you know where you're going, do you? It's 14 Chapel Street. It's a 10-year-old called Penny Johnson. Now, don't screw it up, no, all right? Be wonderful. You wish. He <laughs> transferred to the West End. He'll run forever. Sam, it's Sally. I've got your money. Yes, I did get paid. Yes, wasn't that nice? All right. Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Jeremy Artis. Everybody happy? You idiot! No. Everybody's not happy. I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Oh, was I there? I've just had a visit from Nick Singleton. Really? To get your money? Oh, yeah. Hee <laughs> hee, well done. I knew you could do it. <laughs> he told me everything, Thomas. How you hijacked him, how you threatened him. What a rat. We had a deal. How could you? Look, I know these people, Sal. You've got to go at them like, well, you know, you're serious. With a quick knuckle in the kidneys, eh? Well, whatever it takes to get a result. Get a result? Oh, give me a break. That is not the way I do business, Thomas. Look, Sal. I have intellect. I have reasoning. Oh, yeah? And what have I got, then? You have animal instinct. You just bang the walls of your cave. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? I come here like the Good Samaritan and end up like Fred Flintstone. Well, you can stuff it. From now on, you can look after your own business, all right? I'll see you later. Maybe. Intellect and instinct? Ha! Ah, what a load. Ah, Singleton, you're to blame for all this. Right, you are going to cop it, Mr Singleton. What are you looking at? Have you ever seen a loony talking to himself before? We're very early for that party. I don't know. I don't want to blow this job. Oh, I'm talking soda water here. Soda water? Yeah, well, maybe a little stain of whiskey in it, just to uh, take the harsh edge off us. Not large ones. Oh, absolutely not, since preserve us from large whiskies and energetic women. <laughs> well, maybe one large one each. Just to see how much we dislike it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Who's next? Happy birthday. Oh, got it, got it. Dear Fanny. Happy birthday to you. Right, we better get on, because we don't want to keep these wee kids waiting. You know, this costume reminds me of my wife. Why, was she a gorilla? No, she was from Wales. Number was it? Last me bit of paper. Oh, great. Look, I was blessed with a photogenic memory. It's um number 15. for Little Penny's party, because we have a wonderful surprise for her. So, take it away, Mr. Gorilla! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
Now you shoot! Show a bit of respect. It's my mother's grave. Get that thing out your mouth. Oh, sorry. Should have been proud of me, being on the council. She always said to me, Nicky, never mind the trash. Always buy the top people first. Now then, Benny Dixon's flying up from London today. You go to Harrogate. Harrogate? I've told you. I don't even want him seen in this town. You go to Harrogate, to the Old Swan Hotel, and you give him these. They are, Mum. Three different kinds of pink. She always likes to look like a bloody ice cream. I told you to watch my flank. Where were you? Me? I was round the corner sorting them out. One of them had a knife, hence the hole in the costume. Look here, didn't he stiff him? Doesn't look like a knife cut to me. <laughs> Eight-inch blade. It's more like a rip from a nail. Here he comes. Act natural. Hi, boys. Go right, did it? Fine, fine. Oh, lovely wee girl. Love this song. I think I handled it really well. I am glad. So, uh, what's next, boss? What's next? Yeah. You're sacked. That's what's next. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that is the old swan, isn't it? Yeah. I really needed that. Oh, never mind. My old steam brain is working on us. It's tough, you know, being tough. Oh, I do know. I have a bit of a macho reputation myself, you know. Sure, I'm cursed with young bucks coming up trying to prove themselves by flattening me. And some big blokes. Well, they're not that big at all. Is that a fact? Well, there's one bloke I know. He's got a terrible life. Everybody thinking he's that tough. And he isn't. No. Tough as a wet tissue. Oh, well, not the size of a man's muscles that matters, the size of his heart. Ah, there she is. Your next job opportunity. Very nice young lady. Well, sometimes, that is. Other times, she carries on as if she had a stort in her knickers. So you really know engines? Engines? That man is the Mozart of mechanics. He is the Caravaggio of Calparettos. He's the James Joyce of joysticks. Thank you, Lively. Do shut up. What experience have you had? Well, when we were in the Gulf, the old armoured dune buggies, you couldn't get your engine fixed sharpish. You were liable to get blown away by the old towel heads. All right. If you'd like to overhaul the engine on number two, We'll see where we go from there, okay? Ah! You wonderful person! <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, come on, time we weren't here! Bye, Sally, see you later. What are Little and Large up to, then? What are you up to? Champagne. Well, sort of. <laughs> Fell off the back of something, did you? Oh, don't start. Look, this is a peace offering. All right, I'll get some glasses. No, 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 no. This goes with the hotel room. Oh, God. Where? I'm going to take you to a secret place far beyond the mountains. Shangri-La? Shangri-Harrogate. left your wallet at home. I'll pay you back, of course. Whatever you want. Get in, get in. Come on, come on. What the hell are you doing? Come on. Don't mm. get you upstairs. Mm. Mm. For God's sake! 
Sorry, sorry, I've got carried away. What are you up to? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a mad impulse, that's all. It's, it's me Latin blood, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, sorry. Well, it's a nice room, I'll say that. Cheaper if you're from the south. Never mind that. Let's have a good time. Come and sit over here. Come on, I won't bite. Well, I might, but. Uh... <laughs> no, I, I tell you, well, why don't you come over here? Why? Well, it's a uh, better view. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thomas, love of my life. What are you looking at? Nothing, nothing. I'm, I'm just enjoying the general ambience of the place. That's... Oh, uh, listen, I've it? got a great idea. I've got a great idea. Why don't we go for a nice walk, eh? Work up an appetite, I've eh? I've already got an appetite. Oh, come on, Sal. You'll enjoy it. What are we doing? Looking at the view. We can see the view out of the window. Yeah, but it's live here, isn't it? I'll tell you what, let's go and have a look at the garden, eh? Just round the corner. Oh, you are up to something. I know you're up to something. Excuse me, what are you doing? Nothing. Nice spot, isn't it? Why are you spying on those people? Shh. I'll kick you. Later, Sal. Oh, Sal, what? Hold on, I've got a better idea. I'm going to scream in a minute. Why don't we go back inside, eh? I am not moving until you tell me what's going on. All right, you stay here, then. I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to get me woolly. Here we are. Um, can I have my key, please? I've got our key, Thomas. Oh, it's all right. Right, Buster. Explanation time. Sally, do you trust me? No. No, silly question, really, but will you trust me? Why should I? You drag me here under the guise of a romantic gesture, and then I find it isn't hearts and flowers. Oh, no. It's cloaks and daggers. Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure something out. Me too. Like, why do I have anything to do with you? Because I'm the one with the animal instincts, remember? <sighs> but just give me till the morning, eh? The morning? Yeah, and all will be revealed, honestly. Please. And what do you suggest that we do till then, hmm? Yeah, yeah, I've been hanging on for ten minutes already. Uh, McIntyre, you say? McIntyre, B. So, no McIntyre? You definite? Yeah. No one of that name in your regiment? No, definitely not. I'm sorry. Thanks. I'll give you a bloody gulf war. Oh, Nicholas, we're in, me old son. I've worked out a figure which is a fraction less than all the other bids, but it should still leave enough for a decent profit. For both of us, of course, Nicholas. Right, well, I'll fill in the form and return it to you at the airport. Then I shall prepare to look suitably overjoyed when the happy news is announced. Good.
romantic weekend. I pay the bill while he goes thieving and spying, and then I have to put up bail for him. Well, I can give you an explanation now. Yeah, well, don't rush yourself. You can leave it to me in your will if you want. Look, Singleton and a Londoner called Dixon are working a scam to fiddle council tenders. Yeah? So I broke into Dixon's room to get the proof, didn't I? And I found them. Photocopies of all the tenders. So I nicked them, got nicked, and here I am. Yeah, but why are you getting involved? Since when have you been Elliot Ness? Because that Singleton broke his word, didn't he? He blabbed to you about me. I wanted to slap his wrist. So what are we going to do now, then? We? Well, somebody's got to do the brain work. Yeah, I suppose I have, yeah. Now, listen. You need those photocopies to get you off the hook. You've got to find Benny Dixon and follow him. Yeah. I'd try the hotel if I were you. Bye. How's it going, Mr. Ma well, uh... What do you mean, well, uh... Well, it's different. You said you could fix it. Oh, well, you see, it's a marine engine. And we didn't have that many boats in the desert. See, I'm more of an action man myself. Get out. But I'm gonna out! Fix Look, if that's the way you feel, I'll only charge for the labour. Oh! Oh, no, let go! Oh, oh no, please let go of me here! Oh, disappear! Remember, if you ever need a hard man... How's the career, Mac? Big Mac! Whatever you do, don't give him a job. <sighs> what did you find out? Dixon went to the airport, he handed over the photocopies to Singleton, then flew out. Oh, damn. All it means is I'm going to have to burgle Singleton's house, isn't it? Thomas, burglary is illegal, especially twice in the same day. Yeah, but we're the good guys, aren't we? This is Robin Hood versus the Sheriff of Nottingham. No, no, that's crazy. You're just going at it head on again. Now, listen, just sit tight for an hour, will you? Well, what are you doing? I'm going to show you the difference in our thinking. Your instinct has dropped us in it, so I shall use my intellect to get us out of it. that for a bit it makes me feel sick a man who doesn't co off his nasal hairs is not a gentleman you're ugly mate he hasn't been in the army he has been in jail though even nick one of their library books you've been done a thing of beauty and a jay forever did you hear me sit down what go on sit down The first time we saw Big Mac, he wanted a beer that hasn't been around for ten years. He didn't know what the new 5P coin was. Do you really think that I didn't realise he'd been holidaying with Mrs Windsor? But you still let him stay? I checked him out. He was in for a little bit of light chauffeuring. Chauffeuring? Yeah, three friends asked him to take them for a drive. Unfortunately, they forgot to tell him that they had turned over a building society. Get off. And he's no more a tough man than you are. I found that out when he went chicken on me during that punch-up. So you mean he's just been talking a load of bull? Well, no, no. Well, maybe yes. Yeah, you see... <sighs> Pippa, you have to let people have their dreams. None of us is half of what we want to be. We all tell lies. Only he was into bigger ones than usual. So just try and have a bit more heart. Now, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. I think I'll go down to the blood bank and get me eyes drained. This is Hardcastle. How nice. I want a word. Ah, I'm just off to lunch. Important business. Won't take long. Uh... My check bounced, did it? No. But your head will when I finish with you. Oh, oh very colourful. Thomas Gin. Ah, yes. Well-known Cockney Sharpie. Up for burglary, so a little bird told me. You heard it from your pal, Benny Dixon. 
Who's that where it was? What about him? He knows all about your sports centre fiddle. Slipping the tenders to Dixon so he can get his bid in lowest. Goodness. Gutsy ace reporter attacks on City Hall. Lois Lane spits tax. Thomas is appearing in court tomorrow morning. He's going to tell the whole tacky tale, and I shall make sure that there's a local newspaper there as well. What have you got to say about that, hmm? Still smiling? Not that I'm offering anything, but if I were, what would he want? Get Dixon to drop the charges. And? Tear up his bid. Let the whole thing go through as it should. And what's in that for you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, just the uh, self-righteous glow of the good citizen doing her duty to her fellow man. Some of us don't like our councillors bent. <laughs> Sally. You're very silly. Beg your pardon? You have nothing. The nonsensical here say if some cockney white boy, they'll think he's got a screw loose, they won't even print his name. I thought you were a bright lass, but you're not, are you? I've got you by the short and curlies. No. You haven't. You're a small-time, stupid, nobody tied to a loser. Goodbye, Mrs. Harcastle. You stuck-up, supercilious... Hey, 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 toddle off, Sally. Don't irritate the grown-ups. There's a good girl. Right. Right, that's it. We'll have you stitched up by tea time. The door is in the wall. Try it for size. Bill. Jim boy's in court tomorrow. Make sure he doesn't get there. Yeah. Take a couple of pals and have a little jump up and down on his head. All right? Right. Oh, I, I could have punched him on his smug, smarmy nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the intellect bit didn't work then, eh? Oh, shut up. Listen, if he's gone out to lunch, I should break in and nick the papers, yeah? No. No, wait, the brain's just had another idea. You collect all the gear together and I'll see you at the boat in half an hour. Yeah, but... Let's take it now. Shall we? Why not? Who's this then? He's a big boy then. Him? He's not interested. I'll be off. Oh, what, you stay here. Now look, Thomas, I know you're very brave, but this clown is trained in this sort of thing, and he does owe us. Well, that's true, yeah. Yeah, well, if you want to do the job on your own, understand. I mean, I used to work alone. You move quieter, faster. No, you're right, Thomas. I'll stay out of it. No, it's all right, it's all right. You'll do. Better get a move on. Shall I come? No, no, you stay here. If we get nicked, we're going to need you to dig us out. Just stick by the phone, all right? Uh, I've got a very good telephone, man. Yeah, I'll bet you have. Here, cut that. Oh, dear. do now? A bit of jelly? Let's try this. Done it before, haven't you? Security system as well. It's going to take weeks of planning. That's the one. Look, the window. Very high. You can do that, can't you? Me? Yeah, up the old drain pipe. Don't even need the stun grenades. You see, I'm a I'm a ground man. I uh, cover the wall, man. Don't do heights. You mean you want me to do it? 
Why not? Sam, you in? Oh, uh, come on in, Pippa. Hiya. What do you want? Nothing, just passing. Do I have to want something now before I visit you? No, of course not. Look, just sit down, be quiet, and don't use the phone. You're a bit edgy, aren't you? What gives you that idea? Down here, I'll search upstairs, all right? I can't do this. Oh, I can't. Oh. Oh, God. From now. Oh. Oh. Jailbird like lies through his teeth about his entire life. Well, Ladley realizes he's full of it, but he goes along with it just to give the bloke a bit of pride in himself. Sounds like Lively, the romantic in Cynic's clothing. This bloke tries to make out he's a real hard man, but he's not. Pippa, did you say hard man? Yeah. Are you talking about the hamburger? Well, it's not fair to name names, is it? He and Thomas are doing a burglary right now. You're kidding. It's not my fault, for God's sake. Of course it is. You let the man loose and us, knowing he was absolutely useless at everything. I felt sorry for him. Look, if anything happens to Thomas, you're going to feel very sorry for yourself. Go oh, on. my, oh, my. Taking the time. We must be cleaning the place out. Of course I can, but the van can't. Son, time to make tracks. Oh. What are you doing in there? Oh, I can't move. What? what are you stuck? Oh, leave me. Hold on. I'm coming in. And what is up with you? I can't move. What do you mean you can't move? We're going to get caught. And I'm going to get into trouble. And I can't move. Oh, I don't believe this, Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac? Chicken Mac? You totally lost your bottle, didn't you? You were never in the SAS, were you? Hard man. <laughs> oh, God. There you go, Big Mac. Nothing to it. You're on your way, all right? That's it. All we've got to do now, walk through the door, and jump into the car, and we'll be home before you know it. Oh, I don't know. I'll be fine. For 
going to have this. They're going to give us a belt. I'll oh, give you a bleeding belt in a minute. I'll tell you, stop. Oh, please. Big man, big man, big man. Calm down, eh? Calm down. Now, listen, you are going to live up to all that SAS stuff. You're going to be the man you always wanted to be, all right? Count of three, you are gonna be a hard man. You're gonna go for it, all right? Right. One, two, Mission accomplished, ma'am. No problem. Who are they? Oh, just a wee bit of oppo. Amateurs mainly. Kid stuff. See you back at the old jam jar. Certainly will, Big Mac. Whew. Did he? Hey, yeah, I just watched. Well, I told you. Hard man. Definitely. Very hard man. Now, you two just stand there, and you'll see something that I've wanted to see for ages, thanks to your excellent efforts. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Councillor Nicholas Singleton. Hey up, Nicky. Spot a bother? Obviously a mistake. Obviously your mistake. We'll see. <laughs> 